Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, it's part six of the Bolands HT Snowplow Snowblade project. In the last video, we did some work on the swivel and we're going to be continuing with that today. As you can see, we've made this sleeve to go over the pin that has spaced these two brackets out enough so that we could position it on there. We've now clamped it down and it's ready to be welded. got the two brackets welded on there now and the pin that we made before fits in there perfectly as you can see here we've made a hole in the back which is for a roll pin to go in which you right, right remember we made also a hole for on our pin that goes through here and that's because it isn't actually the pin that swivels, it's the entire bracket. We also did some more cleaning up and this fits on here very nicely now. But the problem with this is there's a lot of rust on it, especially in these hard to get to areas like in here. So with this next job of cleaning it up, we're going to have to call on our good friend, Mr. Grip Blaster. A lot of grip blasting later and we've almost done all of the swivel bracket I say almost because there's some bits that we need to finish off by hand but it saved us a lot of time it's amazing how when it's all roughly one color you can barely tell where these these holes were that we welded up and then the side triangles. We've put a layer of primer on the swivel bracket now. And the next job is to make up the push rods that will lift and lower the blade. They consist of some 5-8 rod and clevis forks on each end, like similar to this one, which is from the deck linkage off the HT20. Although, unlike this one, it will have a clevis fork at each end. So the first job we're going to do is make the clevis forks, which if we're doing two on each end and there's two of them, that's four clevis forks. So we've got our inch square uh, bar here, which we've got to cut to four different three and a half inch lengths. We're going to cut them a bit long and then take them down in the lathe. As you can see, we're over here at the lathe now and we've got the four jaw chuck in the lathe. We've never used the four jaw chuck before. We usually just use the three jaw chuck but we'll be using it for this. And we've got our oh, three and a half inch bit of bar in there, although it's a bit longer. So we're going to put a face on it. As you can see, we've been measuring it up to make sure it's in the center. And now we're going to take a fraction of an inch off it.
we've cut them down to a near enough three and a half inches for each stage of this that we're going to be production lining we're going to be using this pattern and the next job is to get our four clevis forks and drill a hole in this end for a thread We've drilled all of our clevis forks through now and put a little taper on all of them and the pattern uh, using the half inch drill and then finished it off with a 17 30 seconds inch reamer which is the perfect diameter for the hole for a 5 8 thread. But we're going to put this on pause for a moment because we've just had a special delivery. As you can see, we've finally got our hydraulic cylinder now. And we're measuring out where to put the brackets that go onto the main frame. And to do this, we put the swivel bracket back on the main frame. And we turned it as far as it could go this way and put the cylinder in the contracted form and measured from the hole here, which the blade mounts onto, up to the pivot up here and then extended the ram fully and did the same on this side to make sure they were both the same so that if we do get to plow some snow with it the blade tilts both ways e with an equal amount and we've also decided that it's too hard to try and line up both brackets at the same time so we've lined up the top bracket and we'll do the bottom one afterwards we've done the welding for the brackets now and we've welded them in the places where the original one was welded, which is here along the side and underneath. And now the entire main frame part here is done, so we can start cleaning it up. There are a couple of parts on the main frame that we can't clean up by hand. So we've somehow gotten the main frame all in the in the grip blaster here. And we're gonna do those strange angled parts now. We have the first coat of primer now on the main frame and the swivel bracket. But with that now dry, it's a good time to finish for today. And as always, thanks for watching, comments welcome, and I'll see you in the next part of the Snowplow Project. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and see our other videos. More to follow as we do more on this tractor. Bye.